Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to pick up a template that I created on the United States map. This is an example of a drawing where I set it up to where each state is a hyperlink. So it will click to websites pertaining to the history of all the United States. So to get started, go ahead and go to Google and log in. You're going to go to the drive by clicking on the apps and choosing drive. When you're here, go ahead and click on create and then choose from template. In this case, make sure you choose public templates and type in what you're looking for. So the name is United States template and choose search templates. And you're going to scroll down and the one you're looking for is by Chris Clementi. This is the template you would choose use this template. It is automatically added to your Google Drive. You can go ahead and click on this and you can actually create it as your own template and you can make a copy, keep the original, and make a copy and share that with your class to be editors or what have you. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'll close this out. I will get back to my drive. And if you can't find it right away, type in United States template because it's now in your drive. There it is. You might want to keep the original. I will right click and I will choose make a copy. And it's taking long to load, so I might refresh the window. And there it is. You can right click on that and rename it as you so choose. I would keep the one that says United States template as is. An example of what I did with this template is I set up each state to link to a historical information site. You could have students go to each state and gather questions for their peers. There's several activities that you can create around this map. I will go back to my drive and access that template. To set up a hyperlink, you would go ahead and open up a site that you might want to link to. So maybe you want to get landmarks of the United States. You could have students maybe gather which landmark they want to represent, and students could click on the state and see an image of the landmark. This is totally open, whatever you want to do. I will go ahead and demonstrate how I set up the hyperlinks. The first thing I did is I typed in the state, so for example, New York and then I typed in history. I went to link to a credible source. I picked history.com. With that site loaded, I selected the website address in the upper left corner, and you can right click and choose copy or control C of the keyboard. I then went back to the map. I selected New York State. With that selected, I clicked on the insert link icon, and I did control V or right click and choose paste and then apply. Now you can share this, this is really important that you click share, choose advanced and change it from private and I'll change this to public and then I'll click done. Now see the URL? If you share this URL at the top here by copying it and you can send it via email or what have you, I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like if someone were to open that. Now notice I'm logged in as me so I have editing. If I go ahead and sign out with that website address, I should get the map and there's the map. Notice there's no editing privileges. So this is if anyone in the world can access this map. Now if they click on New York and then come down here and open up the hyperlink, they can then use this to access websites. You can actually even add audio, video, and so forth in a Google drawing. This concludes the session on how to access the map template and use it for your classes. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.